we're not going to go through every single e-commerce platform setup process here. However, as Shopify and WooCommerce are probably the best hosted and self-hosted options respectively, it might be useful to look at at least two platforms and how you get started. We'll look at Shopify in this video and WooCommerce in the next one. Shopify offers a 14-day free trial which makes it easy to set up and start playing around and to decide if this is the right choice for you. To get started with that, head over to Shopify's site and then you can either enter your email address in here and click on start your free trial or you can come up here to get started. So just click here on get started and it takes you through to this page where it says start your free 14 day trial of Shopify and you enter in your email address password and your store name and then you click here to create your store. So let me just pause the video while I do that. Okay that's done so all I need to do now is click here where it says create your store and it goes through all this sort of processes and there we go it says success your store is ready to go. Now you have to add an address to set up currencies and tax rates. So again, I'll just pause the video while I do that. Okay, I've got all that in. Uh, this is all made up, by the way. Uh, so please don't turn up at my office looking for me because I don't really work there. Okay, so then just simply click on Next. Okay, then they want some information about yourself. They want to know, are you already selling? And you can choose from these options here. So I'm just playing around, so I'll put that in. And how much revenue does your business currently make in a year? Well, I'm just getting started, so we'll say $0. And then are you setting up the store for a client? If you are, then you check that box there. And then click here that says enter my store. And it takes a moment or two to whirl through. And there we go. You get the welcome message here. And it says your trial has just started. So you've got the trial period to see if this is right for you. I'll just talk you through the interface here. It's fairly straightforward. Um, you've got, you can select a theme for your website. So you can... Uh, go through and choose from these various ones that they have here. And you can see if I scroll down, you've got quite a selection to choose from. These are free themes, or you can also buy a premium theme as well via their theme store. Uh, let's just go back here. Go back to the home here. You can then click here to add a product to your store. Just click on that one so you can uh, see what it looks like. Uh, you add a description and a longer description. You can give it a product type, vendor, etc. Then you want to add an image which you can upload from your computer. You want to make sure that it's a nice uh, compelling image, something that's going to encourage people to actually make a purchase. Of course, you'll also need to add payment details if you want to start getting paid. With all that done, your store is ready to go live. It really is that quick and easy to start selling and to start profiting in a big way, well, potentially. If you want to add extra functionality to your site, you can start adding apps as well, which work just like WordPress plugins to enhance the features of your store. There are numerous apps that you can add to a Shopify store, and you can find them by selecting apps on the left-hand side of the screen in the burger menu. For example, if you want to sell digital products, then you can do this by using digital downloads. This app allows you to sell your products digitally and thereby make money from ebooks, etc., without having to email them to your buyers. Another great one is Pre Order Manager, 
and this does what it says and it lets people pre-order your forthcoming products. The great thing about this is you can use it to get people excited about your forthcoming products and to build a buzz and it can even be a way to make sure that there's a market for your product before you invest too much time into creating it. And finally, consider recurring orders by Bold Apps. This app allows you to charge your customers on a recurring basis. This is excellent for selling your products on a regular basis. For instance, if your customers want a monthly supply of protein shake or if they want a subscription that will give them something new to read every week. Either way, recurring orders are very good for your cash flow as they can provide you with a much more stable and predictable income and they convince your customers to potentially lay down more money for what you're selling up front.